Hi, this is Josh with Gingrich Clean Burn, and today we're going to do a walkthrough on how to prime the meter pump for your clean burn furnace. Uh, the meter pump has a square head like this. If your unit is 2003 or newer, it will most likely have this pump. Um, here is our current setup, how we install units. We've added a couple extra features uh, to the pump in addition to the parts you get from Clean Burn to help with the whole process. I'll go over these features at the end of the video if you're interested, but for now we'll just jump right in. So the first thing we're going to do here is open up our ball valve on our fill port and fill this with oil. It's important to note that you have to use uh, used oil, transmission fluid, or diesel fuel. You cannot use new motor oil. The flash point is too high on that. Um, so once that's done and it stopped bubbling, check to make sure that the oil level in here is not dropping. If it's dropping, that's an indication that the check valve in the tank is not holding, for lack of a better word. So if it's not holding, well, uh, you'll need to clean your check valve most likely or get a new check valve. If you have problems, just give us a call and we can help you out. So once your oil level is sitting solid in your priming port, shut your ball valve and you're ready to run your pump. Very important step to do before you get that to run is disconnect your oil line going into the burner either here at this elbow or down on the flex line here. We've already disconnected it. So once that's done, then we can get our pump to run. There's two ways to do it. The quickest way would be a prime switch up here on top of your furnace on the galvanized box. You can just flip this on, pump's running, got oil coming out, run as long as you want, flip it back off, reconnect your line. If you don't have that, then you're gonna to need to jump out your primary control here. So if this is the case, we have one alligator clip on, we're jumping F1 to F2, as you can see right there. So once the burner attempts to fire and you got air pressure over here on your square gauge, it starts coming up, then you just jumper your F2 and the furnace will stay running until you turn off your thermostat. Once your pump is running, come over here to the bleeder. It's 3 8 bleeder. In this case, we already have it opened up and we have a solid flow coming out so we're going to shut it and uh, once this is the case uh, your pump head will be primed but you may still have uh, some air bubbles in your pressure line going to the burner in which case um, you can let this guy run for longer until you get all the air bubbles out and then we have some air bubbles right now so we'll let it run a little bit longer uh, this just helps reduce spinning and sputtering when, you're, when you do attempt to fire your burner for the first time, you may not have to hit reset, just makes the process a little easier. Now that you've gotten the air bubbles out of the oil line, you're gonna turn off your prime switch or turn off your thermostat and disconnect your jumper wires down on the primary. Reconnect your oil line and your furnace is ready to fire. More than likely when it fires, the oil pressure will be sporadic or you won't have any at all. You may need to press reset a couple times to get solid oil pressure. As you can see, our gauge is bouncing around a little bit, the oil one there. You can keep hitting reset as long as you don't have oil pressure on that gauge. Once you do have good solid oil pressure, take a look and see if you have a flame in the firebox. In this case, we got a good flame. If you have a solid oil pressure there, but you do not have a flame, you need to shut your unit down. Uh, you're just loading your firebox up with oil. So a couple things before we sign off here. Uh, one is on your pump head when you're trying to bleed the air out of it. If it takes a couple minutes to get oil out of there, you may have a weak pump head and want to get that replaced. Uh, you can give us a call if you have any questions about it. Uh, the second thing is our pumps that we're installing from new, how we install them when we go to a customer. Um, we're going to drop a link below and show you what we do and how we set those up. Uh, for example, the one body inline check valve here helps reduce delayed ignition. Uh, one of the different things that makes the process easier for you. Thanks for watching. We are here to help you, so feel free to reach out. Give us a call. We'd be happy to help. Uh, we are the distributor for Ohio, Indiana, and Western PA. Uh, our web website will be linked below, so check it out. We have some kits for sale on there as well. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. We got more coming. Thanks, everybody.